Pierce County has seen one of its most active brush fire seasons in years. Yesterday, Graham Fire and Rescue responded to flames on Meridian Avenue. Over the weekend, they responded to a destructive fire that took out an RV, several cars, and an outbuilding. Thankfully, the owners escaped. Their home survived the fire. Firefighters say these big fires make it difficult to keep up with other calls. This overall for us has been our worst wildland season since I've been here in three years. Not only are we concerned about the fires, but we're concerned about the health issues now too. The medical calls are going up, and here at South Pierce, we cross what we say cross staff our apparatus. So if it's a medic response, our two firefighters get on the medic unit. If it's a fire response, they get on the fire engine. Many of these agencies in Pierce County have been helping each other during this very active fire season. But Wernet says they, they also need the public's help by using extreme caution when it's hot and dry. If there's a fire in your area, be cognizant of evacuation notices, uh, be ready to go, have a go bag, have plans of travel to get out of your area as necessary. That's all, all very important because uh, fires can change quickly. Pierce County Fire Marshals investigating the cause of both brush fires in Graham. Meanwhile, with two large wildfires burning in eastern Washington, Attorney General Bob Ferguson concerned about price gouging. So he issued a warning to businesses and hotels in the Spokane area that his office is on the lookout for price increases on essential goods and services aimed at exploiting people impacted by the fires. And that includes things like shelter, water, groceries, medical supplies. The AG asking Washingtonians to report any price gouging to his office.